Hi everyone, welcome back to Rocksteady. It's Tracy here and I've got a little unboxing for you. So if you haven't already, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Um, and here we are, how do I get in? There's usually a little pull tab, oh there it is. Okay, so I've been waiting for this one but, oops a daisy, nearly knocked the phone off. Ah, here we go. Maybe it'll get in this side. It's not very good perforations, that side. So here we go. There we are in. Okay, so this is an order that I placed with uh, Gems TV. And you may remember some time ago I did... Um, nice. I did some um, unboxings for Gems TV and looking at what they're... Uh, bits and bobs were and whether they were worth it. So I think that's just padding, to be honest with you. But they're usually done up with a nice little sticker. And as you can see, there's a few bits and pieces in here. They're not masses, but um, a couple of things that I've ordered. Something gigantic. Let's get the paperwork out so we can have a little see what we've got and the prices okay so um ah i forgot all about this now they sell south sea pearls and um they decided to start selling the south sea pearl shells um so that you can put them on the side um maybe of an evening like at night time put them side of the bed and put your jewelry inside this pearl for safekeeping i mean obviously it's a it's a, a shell so you've got to be a, a little careful with it but honestly wow look at that isn't it just amazing so these are the pearl shells the south sea pearl shells it is i mean i don't think you'll get the beauty of the colors um on camera because of the lighting and everything else. But the shimmer that's going across here has pinks and greens and all those beautiful opalescent colors that you kind of expect. I'm not really sure just what's being picked up, but on this side, you've got the gold of the shell as well as all these vibrant colors. It is very, very pretty. Um, so I figured, okay, I'll have a little look at that and see what I think. And for a little dish that goes at the side of the bed, I think that is a brilliant little idea. Um, so not only were they selling the pearls now, they can sell the shell and get a little bit of money for that. So um, I'll pop that in there for safekeeping. I don't want anything to happen to my little shell. And I'll get my bill and see how much that was. So it might be considered a bit expensive for a half a shell, six by five, but it was £19.99, so £20 for the South Sea Island um, shell. And here we are. We've got the Certificate of Authenticity, South Sea Shell from Indonesia. And that's that's it. Um not enhanced, not treated. Um, so that's that's the little card that you get inside that goes hand in hand with that. Now these, these were kind of um, possibly incredible value. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So this, oh, these are earrings. I took a bit of a shine to these. Now I have to keep them if I get them out and um, they're lever back. So you, they're kind of like a stud. Then this comes back and you, you go through that. So the only thing I wasn't absolutely sure of is how they would sit in my ear because um, I have a, a, um, a bit of an unfortunate thing that when my ears were pierced, if I put any hoops in, they come outwards. You know, like you get the old billboard pictures of Gypsy Rose Lee or, or anything like that and they've got earrings that go outward rather than along with your ear that's how mine go so tend I don't tend to wear um sleepers of any kind but these are slightly different because I'm okay with studs and they are to all intents and purposes studs with a back on that comes off 
whether that makes it a hoop, the only way to be sure is to try it. So they are quite pretty. Let's have a look and see if this is that. Um, I believe it is. So these are sterling silver, black onyx earrings. And they're kind of unusual. I'm going to keep them, so let's get them out. Um, even if I couldn't wear them, then, you know, they're okay for a gift. So let's have a look, get one out and show you. So the onyx is in this kind of loop and it's it's beautiful and shiny, the, um, the, the silver. You can't get the beauty of it because my lights are kind of bright, I guess, but all this is really glinting and giving me a nice shine. And the actual ring is nice and finished. So it's got this lovely kind of silvery vibe going on. Now, that's the earrings. Now, I thought they seemed quite modern. I had a pair that were little little pearls dangling like this, and I really loved them. Um, I don't wear them as much as I used to because those ones I find very difficult to get in my ear. But these, I don't think will be. These um, are just basically like putting in a stud when you take the back off and then just putting it in and snapping it back shut. So that's that's the earrings and they're quite cool. And there's the little certificate of authenticity. Now, they give you when you buy any kind of gemstone of any kind, even if it's a shell, obviously, um, they um, give you this certificate of authenticity with it. And I've got quite a lot of these things that have massed over the years. Um, now, this is a fair bit of the same and a few different bits and bobs because um, I've ordered a few things before in the past so I know what is actually pretty good. So this is very, very um, covered up. I... Not quite sure what it is, so we'll get it out. Let me just go down a bit because I don't really want to go off camera too much here. So far, I'm liking what I've seen. Oh, did I tell you the price of the earrings? I didn't, did I? The black onyx earrings again are 19 99 So if you go somewhere, say like Pandora, and you buy a pair of silver earrings with nothing other than silver, you're not going to pay anything short of, say, 50 or 60 pounds. Now, what I really like about this, this is just a magnetic clasp, but it it is very, very strong. It's not going to accidentally come off in any way. And these are very difficult to come by. They have them very rarely. And they always come with this attachment so that you can, with your um, existing chain, you can attach the end to this side, and then this becomes attached to the other. And instead of fiddling around your back, you can easily get them on and they completely cover once they're shut because it goes kind of inside itself. And once it's closed, it's not magnetic, so it won't attach itself to anything else other than um, the other half of it. Once they're closed, the mag magnetised part is completely sealed off and no... Um, no accident. So that's that's that one. And I think I ordered a couple of those. That might be the same. And that might be the same. We'll have a look in a second. And then I think these three are the same. Um, and these were very, very good value um, chains. Now, obviously, when you buy them, they look huge. Um, I just need to pause it for a second. I think I'm getting a parcel. I'll be right. Sorry about that. I had an Amazon delivery. So they, yeah, they look huge when they're on the screen. Um, but obviously when you get them, they are a lot finer and not quite so bulky. But what I really liked about these were how sparkly they were because of the style. Now there's the clasp. So that's kind of caught up there but they are beautiful and shiny they're this kind of I don't know what um 
they call that, but it's like, um, you know what I mean? It's that sort of, uh, I, I think they look like D's, but they're probably not. Let's see if it's got a name. Um, Tempo Mariner, that's what they're called. Tempo Mariner chain. And believe it or not, these chains, which would look nice with a little pendant and as a brilliant little gift, are £7.75p. So £7.75p, the clasps cost £10. <laughs> it's just crazy when you think about it. You could get like a plain, boring, just curb chain that doesn't really glisten in the in the light and it won't enhance the pendant and that will cost way more than £7.75 and we all know that the price of gold and silver has gone up quite considerably so that is remarkable value so I did buy a few when they dropped to that kind of low I thought that would be good to put aside um, in case I have many pendants that don't have chains, but um, if you want to buy something uh, as a Christmas present or a birthday present for someone, uh, quite often they'll do pendants, but they won't come with a chain. So it's always always uh, advisable when you see them at these um, crazy prices to just grab a couple. That way, if you do see a pendant that would be perfect for somebody, you've got you've got that so i bought three of them so that's what is in these they're all identical so um i don't need to show you those so that all together um with the vat and the delivery which was only 3 pounds 95 but my vat was 16 pounds 17 so they do show you the prices without vat which you know is a little bit annoying but you know that's just the way most companies roll these days, I think, um, except for hobbyrocks.co.uk. I don't roll that way. Anyway, um, so there we go. The shell was nineteen ninety nine, less VAT. Um, the uh, the earrings were nineteen ninety nine. I think they're excellent value for money, um, especially with the way that they do up. Looking at the distance involved in. Um, once it's open to actually get your ear inside I'm not so sure that they will um, be any good to me personally because um, I've got quite chunky earlobes and I noticed when I opened it or it opens up and there's this amount of space and I mean I could probably I could probably get it in there but I would have to put my ear in <laughs> and then yeah so I don't know, it might or might not work. Some people have really small earlobes and quite dainty little holes in their earlobes and some of us don't. So whether that would work out for me or not, I don't know, but it'd certainly be a nice gift for somebody. And I think they're pretty decent value for money. So what, what have we got? As I said, we've got the shell, £20, all but a penny. And those £20, all, pen, all but a penny, but of course, there is the VAT on top. £7.75 um, for those chains without that. And £9.99 for those magnetic clasps, which are worth the weight in gold, basically. And you very rarely see them. So that's my order. I'll keep the lot. I won't be sending any of that back um, this time around. Quite often, um, I all are about things for quite some time and then decide, no, maybe I'll send them back. But that's the beauty of um, Gemporia, of Gems TV. You can get them home, see if you don't love them and um, get rid if you don't. But obviously you do have to pay to send them back, but you do get a refund really fast. So, um, yeah, I like what I've got and I really do like my shell. I thought it was a bit of an extravagance to be honest, but I have a few things on my counter, like trinket boxes, which, um, you know, you buy the odd thing, like the odd trinket box, um, put it on the side and it might contain a few bits and pieces. But um, I really liked this and I thought, I've got a few little ring savers, but um, they're always falling off the counter and uh, getting knocked about. This certainly won't. So um, I like it. Anyway, tell me what you think. 
Do you think that's a good price for a South Sea shell? Of course, they make that... Um, they don't sell the whole shell. They just sell half a shell. So they're kind of making £40 a shell, which uh, is not bad when you consider they probably used to just throw them away. They are too pretty to throw out. Anyway, thank you for watching. And uh, I hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.